Hi and welcome to MTG Manuscript. And yes, our playmat has changed from the previous one to our champion's playmat for Journey into Nyx. And yes, I've gone on a all-win streak on games day and uh, coming in first place at our local game shop. I had this champion's playmat for Journey into Nyx. Pretty pretty awesome. So yeah, pretty nice. And I've got all these promo cards as well from. Uh, the Ground Zero local game shop, so pretty cool. We have our Hall of Triumph, our alternate foil art, legendary artifact, very very awesome, very very sweet art. We have these uh, squelching leeches for just participating in their games day. So it's an alternate full art, pretty awesome as well. Its power and toughness is equals to the number of swarms you control, and of course our top eight, all top eight. Participants will get a foil alternate art dictate of crucifix enchantment spell for three with flash at the beginning of each player's addition uh, draw step that players draws an additional card. So pretty nice and uh, pretty awesome that I've come in first uh, during the games day. So I'll just be going through the deck that I went with on games day. Not any top tier deck, but it's a deck that I figured would uh, win me some games. So let's see what we have here. And yep, I'll just be going through my deck and picking out the cards. So I'm running a raid deck win. So we have our Raid Dose Cackler, a bunch of mountains, Magma Jet, Adelon of the Great Revel. This is an extremely awesome card. And yeah, I'll be uh, letting you know the strategy behind this. We have our Ash Zealot. We have our Shock. So tons and tons of spells with a uh, minimum lens, and yep. Next we have another shock. We have another a lot of great revels. We have Rigdo Shrek Freak. So mm, many of you will question the choice uh, with this card, but I think it is a uh, awesome, awesome card. So my one drops on the left, followed by my twos, and I don't think I have any three drops. So pretty much these are. Uh, Curve out at converted mana cost 2. Bunch of lands, uh, some titan strengths. We have our fire drinker satyr. More mountains. Lands, lightning strike. Skullcrack. Skullcrack is a uh, main body. is a really, really awesome card as uh, many of the decks are running some sort of live game, cause of Crufix, um, Grey Merchant Aspodel, and Sings Revelation. So main boarding Skullcrack is sort of a must. We have one young Pyromancer. <laughs> the rest is the same. I don't think there's any other cards that I missed out. So I'll just be going through the numbers that I'm uh, playing with for each card. Mainly having a playset of each, with the exception of Pyromancer, if I'm not wrong. So let me just separate all these out and go through them again. Yeah, so there you go. This is the entirety of my deck for my main board. I'll be going through the sideboard in a little while. So let's take a look. So for my one drops, I have four playsets of one drops. We have our Rigdo Skakler, extremely awesome uh, one drop creature that is 2 2. So again, uh, my deck, I'm running a Rig deck win. And uh, the strategy behind this is just to deal about 20 damage by the fourth turn. Uh, yeah, I think that's the maximum that I can go. 4th turn, 20 damage and just burn or swing my creatures to the face. So Raidos Crackler, 1-1 uh, one, one devil creature for 1 black or red mana with unleash. And when it unleash, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, it can't block as long as it has a plus 1 plus 1 counter. So Raidos Crackler, a very very awesome 1 drop, uh, extremely, 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 uh, very very valuable. And yeah, there you go. So, Rigdos Cackler. The other one drop that I have for creature is Fire Drinker Sator. So, pretty much the same as Rigdos Cackler. Uh, it's a 2 1 creature for just one mana. Uh, I'm more interested 
for for Red Dead when you are just interested about the power instead of toughness, as uh, usually you do not block. So for Fire Slayer Junior, it's a two one Sator Shaman for one red. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to you, and you can pay one generic one red. It gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, and it deals one damage to you. So similar to red, those character is our one drop value creature. Just uh, first turn Fire Drinker Sator or first turn Reduce Cackler and you can swing for 2 on the next turn. So that is my 8 1 drop creatures and I have 4 shocks. So 4 shocks might be a little too much for most players as a shock 1, one mana for 2 damage. It's not that good actually but I think uh, for Red Dead wins just sweet, just <laughs> delivering blows after blows uh, is not bad and especially I'm only running 19 mountains so a uh, very very low ma mana casting spell is quite good in this deck and works quite well and next we have our titan strength a playset of titan strength target creature gets plus 3 plus 1 and you scry 1 just for just 1 mana so again, another very very uh, value card for Red Dead wins, uh, swinging your creature and then uh, just pumping them up with Titan Strength and additionally you get to scry one which is really awesome. Knowing what you get for the next draw uh, is extremely valuable, especially in Red Dead wins you do not have any any uh, card draw mechanics so your tempo is uh, pretty much crucial in every single match. So there you go, my Titan Strength for my last one drops. And next we have going on to all the two drops and again the my deck focus on just deliv delivering as much damage as uh, in little turns as possible so my converted mana cost is curved out at only maximum two. And so my two drops we have our magma jet it deals two damage to target creature or player you scry two for two mana. So again uh, two damage for two mana is not that great. But the ability to scry 2 for Magma Jet is uh, extremely valuable and scrying 2 going too deep down in your library and get, let, get, letting you know what's coming next is uh, very very important and keeping up the tempo and the pressure and uh, just burning down your opponent or getting rid of their creatures. So a playset of Magma Jet that is what I went with. And next we have my playset of uh, Rigdos Shrek Freak. For this card, there might be other cards that is more suitable for this deck, but this is what I went with as uh, I like more creatures to have haste than not, and a uh, turn 2 haste is a very very important turn, as you can do a 1 drop Kegler or 1 drop Fire Drinker Sator, and uh, two and your second drop will be a Radius Crack Strike Freak or Ash Gillette and dealing a total damage of 4 by second turn. Which is uh, quite good instead of uh, just putting down another creature or a burn spell uh, that does nothing. So, Radio Strike Freak 2 1 with haste, and again, uh, it's a very, very small toughness. And for Red Dead Wins, I don't really care about blocking. So, the 2 toughness and the haste is what I want in this deck. So, that is why I go with uh, Radio Strike Freak. Next, uh, let's go. Let's talk about Ash Gillette first. So Ash Gillette is uh, simili similar to Red Dose Strike Freak but the upgraded version sort of. It is a 2-2 human warrior for 2 red mana. With first strike, haste and whenever a player casts a spell from graveyard it deals 3 damage to that player. This card is uh, super awesome. It is uh, not that of a bomb. And uh, for this deck there isn't much of a win condition or there isn't any card that gives us a win condition, rather it's a combination of all the cards that win the game. So again, uh, Ash Gillette, our 2 drop 2-2 uh, two, two creature with haste is what we want, so swinging your opponent for 4 on the second turn with uh, Ash Gillette is uh, extremely awesome. So play set of Ash Gillette and my sort of Last creature in the deck is Adelon of the Great Revel. This card is a new card from Journey into Nyx that I decided to put into this deck. And uh, it has proven to be extremely useful, so you guys uh, may want to check this out and try to play test it. For Adelon of the Great Revel, it's a 2 2 spirit creature for 2 red whenever a player casts a spell with converted mana cost 3 or less, it deals 2 damage to that player. So for this, it's a double edged sword, whatever thing that you cast in this deck with that wins is all, all below uh, CMC 3. So anything that you cast after this creature is on the battlefield, you do. 
uh, 2 damage to yourself as well. But with this card on the battlefield, it's extremely annoying to the opponent. Uh, even removing this creature on the battlefield itself, it will cause them uh, 2 damage. For example, Doom Blading this guy, or Ultimate Price this guy, or Kills Down for uh, this dude on the battlefield will cost, will cost them 2 damage. And uh, the longer that this, starts, uh, this stays on the battlefield, the more value it brings. And for Red Dead Wins, you don't really care about your life. You burn them down faster than you burn yourself. So yeah, very very awesome deck. Uh, an extremely good creature to be on the battlefield when uh, it's when you're playing burn. So a playset of Adelon of the Great Rebel. And next we have a playset of uh, Lightning Strikes, Brainless Inclusion in a Red Dead Wins. Deals 3 damage to target creature or player for 2 mana. So bring down your opponent uh, as much as you can, always uh, removing certain creatures at certain situations. Not really that crucial in removing small creatures though. And uh, generally just trying to deal as much damage to opponent as possible. So a place of lightning strikes. And next we have a play set of uh, skull crack. So again this is like lightning strike but it doesn't uh, remove any creatures so this is straight to the face of the opponent and with the meta now with a uh, lot of cards gaining life for the opponent for example uh, Grey Merchant of Espodel, Cause of Crucifix, Sphinx Revelations so please have a skull crack really hinders their game and their tempo and the ability to recover so please have a skull crack is a must in the Red Dead Wind and uh, definitely main boarding 4 of them and the last card I have is actually Young Pyromancer. So again, with all the spells that I'm casting, Young Pyromancer is a very very good card in the main board. I've thought of putting two in the main board, but it doesn't really have haste. It doesn't work if uh, uh it, it, you need stuff to make it work. So it's not as good as your Ashler, your creature of haste, and Adam of the Great Revel that you do not need to do anything for it to gain value. For this, you need an extra card uh, to get a 1 1 red elemental creature token. But again, uh, my aim is to curve out at uh, CMC 2. So I've included this out of uh, all the cards that I can find. You might want to put in Museum Mota, but Young Paramancer is what I went with. And for the lands, I went with 19 mountains. So nothing, no dual lands, just pure mountains, no middle vaults. Everything is mountains. So yeah, so there you go. This is my deck for games day. Red deck wins 19 mountains and the rest are all creatures kept at uh, CMC2. So let's go through our sideboard for my deck. And first up, we have our Toil and Trouble. It's a sorcery spell, so I'm just using the Trouble side. For 3 mana, you deal damage equals to target uh, to target player equals to number of hands, number of cards in that player's hand. So basically, this is what you want when you're dealing with control deck. Uh, third turn Trouble is usually dealing them for about 5 to 6 damage. It's a 6 damage for 3 <laughs> for 3 mana is uh, very very valuable, so Toy and Trouble against uh, control decks, draw decks, uh, any or any decks that basically hang on to their cards. And next we have our Young Pyromancer, an additional one. Uh, mainly I'm thinking for this card is against uh, Mono Black Devotion for sacking uh, my 1-1 one, one Red Elemental Creature token to tap their Desecration Demon. So this is my game plan. For young Pyromancer. <clears throat> and next we have a uh, Searing Blood against uh, Mirror Matchups for creature decks for White Weenies. So, play, uh, not play set, a uh, 3 Searing Blood. Very, very good value for removing creatures and dealing damage to their face. And next we have uh, Magma Spray. Magma Spray mainly dealing with uh, creatures that comes back from the graveyard, for example, Chandra's Phoenix <clears throat> and stuff like that. So, Magma Spray, very, very uh, good card. To to, for sideboard. And next we have uh, two copies of Act of Treason against uh, Green Raid Monsters or against maybe Mono Black Devotion maybe when they when they only have one Desecration Demon on the field you can use this to gain control and just whack them for 6 in the face. So two copies of Act of Treason. And next we have uh, two copies of Electric Curry. It's an instant spell that deals 1 damage to target creature you don't control and can overload it for 2 mana. 
So basically this is against uh, mono blue devotions, you can just wipe out all their elemental creature tokens with uh, just 2 mana, leaving their master of ways unguarded. So there you go, electric, electric curry, 2 copies of it. We have our fire, our Sator Fire Dancer, our 1-1 one, one Sator creature, uh, creature for 2 mana whenever instant sorcery spell you control deals damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target creature that players control. So again for this, uh, we can use this against uh, creature decks, matchups, uh, white weenies, so quite cool. And next we have our 2 copies of Boros Reckoner. Our 3-3 three, three Minotaur Wizard for 3 red whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or player and you can pay 1 red for it against first strike. And for these 2 copies of it, I will put it uh, against green red monsters to just defend against all the heavy hitters like the Hydras. And if uh, the Hydra hits you for 5, you can just redirect damage 5 to the opponent's face. If they're swinging you with their Colonial Hydra, it's even better. <laughs> 8 damage to their face, uh, just like blocking with Boros Reckoner, this causes a lot a lot of trouble for those uh, huge huge creatures. So this is my sideboard for red deck wins, again 2 Boros Reckoner, 1 fi uh, Sator Fire Dancer, 2 Electricery, 2 Art of Treason, 2 Magma Spray, 3 Searing Blood, 1 Young Pyromancer, and 2 Toil and Trouble. And again, this is my deck for Games Day at uh, Journey into Nyx Games Day at Ground Zero. And I've came in first place winning the Champions Placement and of course uh, a few other prizes as well from them. So take a look at this, let me know your comments about uh, this deck and let us know what deck you played at your Games Day at your local game shop. And that's it for this episode. And as always, like support channel, please do hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.